So here is the question. Do you need a wok? And the short answer is yes. And before you start going into like, I'm not going to cook Asian food every single day or I barely know how to fry an egg and the wok pan is for professionals. Hang in there because we're going to go for all the steps that you need to keep in mind when you're buying a wok and why do you need to buy it. So this is my wok. This is just one of the two that I've got, but the other one is slowly retiring because I've been using it for about three years and cooking quite a lot on this channel and at home. It's got to go and I'm replacing it with this one. Although a classic wok is made from carbon steel or is coated in carbon steel or something like that anyway, this one is made from stainless steel and is covered with Teflon. And I really like it and I'm gonna give you five reasons why you need a wok like this or similar to this if you are beginner or even if you are professional. Reason number one, it's not as dangerous as you might think. In the past to make this kind of coating or something similar to this anyway, the manufacturers were using a pet a perfluoro octanate acid. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. PFOA is all you need to know. And now it's banned in most countries and I wouldn't worry anymore. These days, pans like this are coated in PTFE, which is a different component, totally different apparently from the one that used to be before. That's not causing any cancer. It's not causing any problems if you know how to use it and you use it properly. But this is the Teflon that we know it, PTFE, which is again a poly... Anyway, all you need to know, PTFE is a lot better than it used to be and is safe. Now, according to some studies, even PTFE can be dangerous for your health in some small percentages if you don't treat your pan properly. If you overheat it, I'm talking like if you go over like 580 or 570 Fahrenheit, which is like 300 Celsius, or you scratching the surface, but to be honest, I don't think that's causing much issues, but anyway, studies are studies. That's what I've got, that's what I give you. And just make sure you treat your pan properly and the Teflon will take care of you. But with these kind of pans like Tefal, you have a red spot right in the middle. This one, once it gets like bright red, you know that the pan is hot enough. Obviously, depending on what you use it for, you can rely on these more or less. But for beginners, I think it's really helpful. And if you don't want to scratch the surface of the pan, you should use something like this silicon or wooden and happy days. Reason number two, when it comes to frying or to woks in general, I would say that Teflon is an absolutely beast when it comes to non-sticking. So it doesn't stick anything on it in most situations. And you have other options like ceramic, which to be honest, is not as great as this one, but it's something to consider. Some people say it's healthier. I don't really know. I've been using Teflon for quite a while and I'm still here. So, what I'm saying is if you are a beginner, try to use Teflon because it's a lot more forgiving. If the pan is not hot enough, if the pan is not cold enough or whatever it needs to be because of the non-stick area, which is really good, it's a bit more forgiving. Obviously, if you know what you're doing and you are a bit more in the professional side, you could probably go for something like cast iron, although cast iron is probably too heavy for a wok, uh, stainless steel, or carbon steel or something like that. But most of these, you'll need to season them in order to get a surface, which to be honest, is not as uh, non-stick resistant as this one. So it's something to consider. This one straight from the shop onto the heat and you have a non-stick pan and the other ones you need to season them is a process. You need to know the heat a bit more. And if you're a beginner, it gets a bit more complicated. So stick to something like this. Reason number three. Because of the non-stick coating, this is such an easy material to clean. All you need is get it under soapy water, quick washing with the sponge, nothing special, under the cold water, rinse it and job done. This is really important for me. I don't know for you, but in time, you're gonna love a pan like this because you're gonna spend less and less time washing it up. Reason number four, a pan like this is multifunctional. So you need to bear that in mind that this is like the Swiss knife of the kitchen. You can use it in so many situations, stewing, frying, shallow frying, defrying, whatever the frying, whatever the boiling probably in some situations, you can boil vegetables, grains, pasta is great. So make sure you buy one of these so you can use it in multiple situations. Reason number five, if you have your wok coated in Teflon or non-stick, it can be ceramic. You don't need to go for Teflon. I'm not advertising Teflon by all means, just go for ceramic. But this is what I've got. This is what I show you. You want to use a lot less oil. If you have a coated a pan with Teflon or with ceramic, so it's healthier in a way. Obviously, depending on how much oil you're gonna add or if you're gonna use this only for defrying, that's probably not gonna help. 
But comparing with other materials, this has a big advantage when it comes to reducing the oil, the cost of oil, the amount of oil you're using, because this can be used even without oil if you really want to. So it's kind of healthier from this point of view, as I just mentioned. Make sure you check the affiliate links down below, buy a wok because it's definitely needed. I'm gonna put different kind of materials, different kind of sizes. So you're gonna find ceramic, Teflon or stainless steel, Whatever you need is down below and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Also, you might want to click on this video up here because there are more tools and equipments that you might need if you're new to cooking. Bye.